Welcome back, fabulous first graders. We are on week eight, day two of RPS at home. Our I can statement for today is, I can tell time to the half hour in different ways. Yesterday, we practiced telling time to the hour on a digital and analog clock. And we talked about how different ways to read that time. But today we're focusing on telling time to the half hour. The materials you'll need for today are a pencil and paper or something else to write with. And then if you have someone who can print out the RPS at home exit ticket for you, that's great. If not, you can just use your white piece of paper to write on. We measure time using clocks. Time to the half hour. Now we talked about how the analog clock is in a circle shape. And we said the minute hand has to go all the way around one time for 60 minutes to go by. But today we're focusing on a half hour. So if this whole circle, we talked about fractions, if this whole circle is 60 minutes, then a half a circle is how many minutes? 30. So we have 30 minutes and 30 minutes. So it takes 30 minutes for the minute hand to point straight down like it is here. So we say that it is half past the time because half of our hour has gone by. So whereas when the minute hand pointed straight up, we always said o'clock, when the minute hand points straight down, we say half past. So let's look at our analog clock. Now you will notice something different about the hour hand and the minute hand this time. So which one was the hour hand? Right, the shorter hand is the hour hand. This hand is called the minute hand. But let me show you something special. Let's look at this hour hand for a second. This hour hand is past what time? It's past the three. It's past the three, but it has not gotten to the four yet. So when we read this time, we could say half past, because it's halfway, so it's half past three. Or you could say three, and then when the minute hand points straight down, that's where we say 30. So this clock says 3.30, or half past three. So the hour hand is between two numbers when it's the half hour. Let's look at the digital clock. Now, the number to the left is what? The hours or the minutes? Right, the hours. So three hours have gone by and 30 minutes have gone by. So when you read the digital clock, you say it's 3.30. When you read the analog clock, you can say it's 3.30. You could also say it's half past three. Let's watch our video together, and then when you get back, we're going to be working on some problems. <laughs> 